Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. This is a trend that needs to continue. Monitors with nice, slim, sexy bezels. If you didn't figure it out already, the reason I'm so excited about the MX279 from ASUS is the slim bezel. It's got a nice solid piece of glass across the entire front of the display with only a tiny sliver of plastic around the outside. And I'm gonna go off on a bit of a tangent here and say I don't understand why this took so long. We've had phones with slim bezels for an awfully long time now. Why did it take so long to get a desktop monitor with a slim bezel? But, okay, all of that aside, we have them now, and the specs of this one look pretty darn good. It's a 27-inch display with a 1080p resolution. It uses an IPS panel, which means great color reproduction, as well as outstanding viewing angles. ASUS has also implemented a matte coating over top of the screen, meaning you don't get that same reflectiveness that you often get with glass-covered displays, and it uses their trace-free technology to give you a five millisecond response time, which is very strong for an IPS panel and suitable for gaming, meaning you get the best of both worlds, color viewing angles and quick pixel response times for less ghosting or motion blur. So let's get physical with this monitor, folks, because it's all about the form factor with this guy. Let's start with the slimness that I promised to show you up close before. So yeah, it's not quite the same degree of slimness as the bezel on a phone. So you can see right here that while the bezel itself is an extremely tiny piece of plastic here. There is a bit around the outside edge of the display where there isn't really any picture shown. It's just an extension of the piece of glass, but we are getting an awful lot closer to a completely bezel-less monitor. Now, speaking of slimness, let's have a look at how thin the display is overall. So it does use an LED backlight. This makes it more power efficient as well as thinner because fluorescent backlights do take up more space. So here for context is an HTC One one smartphone so you can see just how thin the monitor will be on your desk and how little space it's going to take up. One of the contributing factors to how little space it takes up is the sundial stand. So you've got a little bit of tilt here. Okay, so you can tilt forward and you can tilt this much back, which is actually a pretty wide range, but the sundial stand looks good, but doesn't have things like height adjust or rotation. You're just expected to put it where you want it, and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you why they call it a sundial stand, because it's got a nice metal ring, very ruggedly built, feels really nice, and then a piece up here that connects to the monitor that looks like a sundial. Assembling the monitor is extremely simple and just involves a single screw in the bottom that can be tightened and loosened either by hand using the small ring or with a coin or a slot head screwdriver. In terms of I.O., I'm going to go ahead and turn it around. This is in part due to the slimness of the monitor, but ASUS wasn't able to really mask the inputs and outputs with a shroud or anything like that, so they plug directly into the back of the monitor. It's got two HDMI inputs, and this is cool because there are integrated Bang & Olufsen 3-watt speakers that are going to be able to play audio from those inputs, so you could plug in, for example, your computer and your game console and easily switch between them using the buttons that are built into the monitor. It's also got a VGA in, an audio pass through for a line in as well as headphones, and finally power in. You can see power in is using a DC power plug, so same thing. They weren't able to build in the power adapter, so it's got a very small power adapter that is going to just sit under your desk. Not large like some monitors, but when you're talking about making an extremely slim design, every little bit of space that you save does count. Now you saw that there's no DVI connection. Don't worry guys, ASUS includes a DVI to HDMI cable that you can use to plug one end, the DVI end, directly into your computer and then plug the other end directly into the monitor. They are pin compatible and there will be no loss in image quality. Now I found myself complaining about touch sensitive buttons on monitors if there isn't any kind of tactile or visual feedback when you're pressing them. ASUS has found a good way around this. So the buttons here are touch sensitive, you don't have to press them in, but because they are a significant raised bump under the monitor, you can easily tell when you've activated them and when you haven't. Navigation is pretty simple, so you can see we've got our on-screen display here. We use menu to confirm, the splendid button to go out of a menu, and then the up and down buttons to navigate. So you can see you have control of a lot of the features, like trace-free that I mentioned before, it can be adjusted anywhere from 0 to 100. 
you can select your input, you can do your system setup, and Splendid is the, the big feature here. So game mode is intended to increase the response time of the pixels, but it does come at a cost. It will reduce the overall color depth. Not to the point of like a TN monitor, for example, but it is visible and it is noticeable when you're not looking at something that's moving quickly. Say, for example, if you looked at a static image with it, it would be quite noticeable. And I'll leave it up to the individual viewer to decide whether there is enough with turning trace free on but leaving Splendid on standard mode, either standard mode or sRGB mode resulted in quite an attractive picture to determine whether there is little enough ghosting for you or not. So this is a quick and dirty test that I often do for myself when I want to know what the trace freeness is like on a monitor. I just take an object in 2D, move it around on a background, and it gives me a pretty good idea. So in conclusion, the MX279 isn't cheap, but it's not overpriced considering how stylish and fashionable it is compared to other monitors we've seen that have taken sort of a, oh, well, we're very stylish, so we're very expensive approach. And it delivers a good quality product for the price. Thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.